mercy on us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator, O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord God of hosts, be with us, for we have no help in our tribulation of verse with you. O Lord, make us worthy, pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let us pray. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us give thanks to what I've said, merciful God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and has brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the God, the Creator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. O Master, the Father, God, the Father, the Father, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. You have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all times, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore. Can entreat your goodness over mankind, God, us to complete this holiday and all days of our life in all peace with you, or fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counts, wicked men, the rising of enemies, hidden and manifest. Take them away from us and from all your people and from this church and from this here holy place for those things which are good and profitable to provide for us. For as you have given us the authority to tread on servants and scorpions, and upon all the power of the enemy.
saved us, have mercy on us. Let's pray. And the four prayers be with all. And with your spirit. Let's count upon the Creator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. We ask and entreat your goodness all over mankind. Remember, O Lord, our assemblies to bless them. Pray for our fathers and our brethren who are sick with any sickness, whether in this place or in any place, that Christ our God may grant us, grant us with them health and healing, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, visit them with mercies and compassion. Heal them. Take away from them from us every sickness and every malady. The spirit of sicknesses chase away those of long and maladies. Raise up and comfort those who are afflicted with unclean spirits. Set them all free. Those who are in prisons or dungeons. Those in exile or captivity. Those who are held in bitter bondage. O Lord, set them all free and have mercy upon them. Here he lifts and lifts up the fallen, the hope of those who have no hope, the help of those who have no helper, the comfort of the faint hearted, the harbor of those in the storm, all souls that are distressed are bound, grant them mercy, O Lord, grant them rest, grant them refreshment, grant them grace, grant them help, grant them salvation, grant them the forgiveness of their sins and their iniquities, as for us too. O Lord, the sicknesses of our souls, you and those of our bodies cure, O you the true physician of our souls and bodies. The bishop of all flesh, visit us with your salvation. Lord, have mercy. We ask and entreat your goodness over mankind. Remember, Lord, our father and brethren who are traveling. Pray for our father and brethren who are traveling, and those who intend to travel anywhere to straighten their all their ways, whether by sea, rivers, lakes, road, air, or those who are traveling by any other means that Christ our God may bring them back to their own homes in peace and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. And those who intend to travel anywhere, straighten all their ways, wherever where I see rivers, lakes, roads, air, or those who are traveling by any other means, everyone anywhere, lead them into a haven of calm, a haven of safety. Graciously accompany them at their departure and be their companion of their travel. Bring them back to their own, rejoicing with joy and safe and security. Be a fellow worker with your servants in every good deed. As for us too, O Lord, keep us for journey in this life without harm, without storm, and undisturbed to the end. Lord, have mercy. Let's praise the angels, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill towards men. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you, we confess to you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, King of heaven, God the Father, the Pontius Praetor, O Lord, the one only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. O you who takes away the sin of the world, receive our praise unto you. Who sits at the right hand of his Father, have mercy on us. You are in the Lord, the Holy, you will know the Most High. My Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, glory be to God, the Father, amen. Every day I'll bless you and praise your holy name for everyone the ages of ages, amen. From the night season, my soul wakes early unto you, my God, for your precepts are light upon the earth. I was meditating a race for your karma to me. In the morning she hear my voice, early I stand for you shall see me. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who is born the virgin of mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who is crucified for us of mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from dead and sent heavens of mercy upon us. Glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and from the age of the ages of men. Holy Trinity of mercy on us, the Holy Trinity of mercy on us, the Holy Trinity of mercy on us. Holy forgive us our sins, Holy forgive us our iniquities, Holy forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sick your people, heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and brethren have fallen asleep, O Lord, have closed their souls. O you hear that sin, Lord, have mercy on us. You hear that sin, will help us through supplications. There is the glory, the dominion, and the triple holiness. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, bless us, amen. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, they will be done. On earth as in heaven, give us their daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, we forgive those who trespass against us. May us not temptation, but deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine kingdom, power, the glory forever. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, Amen, Alleluia. Hail to we ask you, Saint, full of glory, the ever virgin, the Theotokos, the mother of Christ. The preparations for what's done that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to the Holy Virgin, who is brought forth unto us, the true light Christ, our God. Ask the one our behalf, that he may so and so to forgive us our sins. O Virgin Mary, the Holy Theotokos, the faithful advocate for all mankind. Intercede on our behalf, for one Christ, who born in the grand supremacy of our sins. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Hail to 
to the pride of our race who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O oh, our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Fasting and prayer are the salvation of our souls, purity and righteousness, they are what please God. Fasting has raised Moses up to the mountain until he received the law for us from the Lord our God. Fasting has raised Elijah up to heaven and has saved Daniel from the den of lions. Our Lord Jesus Christ fasted for us forty days and forty nights to save us from our sins. And we too let us fast with purity and righteousness and let us pray proclaiming and saying Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come for thine is the glory forever. Blessed are you, O Mary the wise and the chaste, the second tabernacle, the spiritual treasure. The pure turtle dove, who declared in our land and brought to us the fruit of the Spirit. The Spirit of comfort, who came upon your son in the waters of the Jordan, according to the type of Noah. That dove has announced to us the peace of God for mankind. Likewise, you owe our hope. The spiritual turtle dove have brought mercy unto us, carrying him in your womb. He is Jesus, the begotten of the Father. He was born of you for us, setting free our race. Therefore let us declare first with our hearts, then also with our tongues, proclaiming and saying, O our Lord Jesus Christ, make for yourself within us a temple of your Holy Spirit, glorifying you. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true queen, hail to the pride of our race who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Our Lord Jesus Christ has chosen his apostles, Peter and Andrew, John and James, also Philip and Matthew, Bartholomew and Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus and Simon the Canaanite, Thaddeus and Matthias, Paul, Mark and Luke, and the the rest of the disciples who followed our Savior. Matthias, who was chosen in place of Judas, all of them and the rest followed the Master. Their voice went forth upon the face of the whole earth, and their words have reached the ends of the world. Pray to the Lord on our behalf, my lords and fathers, the apostles, and the seventy-two disciples, that he may forgive us our sins. O oh, Mark the Apostle and the Evangelist, the witness of the passion of the only begotten God. You have come and enlightened us through your gospel and taught us the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You brought us out of darkness into the true light, feeding us the bread of life that came down from heaven. All the tribes of the earth were blessed through you, and your words have reached the ends of the world. Hail to you, O martyr, hail to the evangelist, hail to the apostle, Mark the beholder of God. Pray to the Lord on our behalf, O beholder of God, the evangelist, Mark the apostle that he may forgive us our sins. Truly you are blessed, the Holy Verena, the Virgin, the Bride of Christ, the pure Bridegroom. For you despise the whole glory of this world and the pride of this life, and you love the purity. She embarrassed Satan and his evil demons through her great endurance, the purity of her virginity. For truly great is the chosen sanctity of Saint Verena, the Bride of Christ. She completed her life in her great humility she reposed with the saints in the land of the living hello the virgin maiden the all holy adornment the pure bride the true saint verena hail to you O saint hail to you O pure one hail to you the ascetic one the bride of the master ask the lord on our behalf O the bride of christ the true saint verena that he may forgive us our sins watch over us from on high where you dwell O lady 
of us, all the ever virgin Theotokos. Ask of him whom you have borne, our good Savior, to take away our troubles and grant us his peace. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Hail to the pride of our race who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. We exalt you, the Mother of the True Light, who glorify you, Saint Theotokos, for you have brought forth unto us the Savior of the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to our Master, our King, Christ the Pride of the Apostles, the Crown of the Martyrs, the Joy of the Righteous, the Firmness of the Churches, the Forgiveness of Sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity and one Godhead, who worship Him and glorify Him. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord bless us, Amen. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, Creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Begotten of the Father before all ages, light of life, true God, true God, begotten not created, one essence of the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, who was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us in our Pontius Pilate, suffering was buried, on the third day rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended to the heavens, he sits there and his Father, and he is coming again in his glory, judge of the living and the dead, his kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father, and Son is worshiped and glorified. We spoke by the prophets in one holy Catholic Apostolic Church. We confess and baptize the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. God, have mercy upon us. Settle your mercy upon us. Have compassion upon us. with your salvation and forgive us our sins. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory be to our God. The readings of the fifth Friday of Holy Night. May the blessings be upon us all. Amen. In the book of Deuteronomy of Moses, the prophet, may his blessings be upon us all. Amen. Now it shall be when the Lord your God has brought you into the land which you go to possess, that you shall put the blessing of Mount Gerizim and the curse on Mount Ebal. Are they not on the other side of the Jordan toward the setting sun in the land of the Canaanites who dwell on the plain opposite Gilgal, beside the terebinth trees of Moray? For you will cross over the Jordan and go in to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you and you will possess it and dwell in it. And you shall be careful to observe all the statutes and judgments which I set before you today. These are the statutes and judgments which you shall be careful to observe in the land which the Lord God of your fathers is giving you to possess all the days that you live on the earth. You shall utterly destroy all the places where the nations which you shall dispossess serve their gods on the high mountains and on the hills and under every green tree. And you shall destroy their altars, break their sacred pillars, and burn their wooden images with fire. You shall cut down the carved images of their gods and, and destroy their names from that place. You shall not worship the Lord your God with such things, but you shall seek the place where the Lord your God chooses out of all of your tribes to put his name for his dwelling place, and there you shall go. There you shall take your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, Heave offerings of your hand, your vowed offerings, your free will offerings, and the firstborn of your herds and flocks. And there you shall eat before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice in all to which you have put your hand, you and your households, in which the Lord your God has blessed you. You shall not at all do as we are doing here today, every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes. For as yet you have not come to the rest and the inheritance which the Lord your God has given you. But when you cross over the Jordan and dwell in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to inherit, and he gives you rest from all your enemies round about, 
so that you dwell in safety. Then there will be the place where the Lord your God chooses to make his name abide. There you shall bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, the heave offerings of your hand, and all your choice offerings which you vow to the Lord. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God, you and your sons and your daughters, your male and female servants, and the Levite who is within your gates, since he has no portion nor inheritance with you. Take heed to yourself that you do not offer your burnt offerings in every place that you see, but in the place which the Lord chooses, in one of your tribes, there you shall offer your burnt offerings, and there you shall do that I command you. However, you may slaughter and eat meat within all your gates, whatever your heart desires, according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given you. The unclean and the clean may eat of it, of the gazelle and the deer alike. Only you shall not eat the blood. You shall pour it on the earth like water. You may not eat within your gates the tithe of your grain or your new wine or your oil, of the firstborn of your herd or your flock, of any of your offerings which you avow, of your freewill offerings or of the heave offering of your hand. But you must eat them bef before the Lord your God in the place which the Lord your God chooses, you and your son and your daughter, your male servant and your female servant, and the Levite who is within your gates. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God in all to which you put your hand. Take heed to yourself that you do not forsake the Levite as long as you live in your land. When the Lord your God enlarges your border as he has promised you, and you say, let me eat meat, because you long to eat meat, you may eat as much meat as your heart desires. If the place where the Lord your God chooses to put his name is too far from you, then you may slaughter from your herd and from your flock, which the Lord has given you. Just as I have commanded you, and you may eat within your gates as much as your heart desires. Just as the gazelle and the deer are eaten, so you may eat them. The unclean and the clean alike may eat them. Only be sure that you do not eat the blood, for the blood is the life. You may not eat the life with the meat. You shall not eat it. You shall pour it on the earth like water. You shall not eat it, that it may go well with you and your children after you, when you do what is right in the sight of the Lord. Only the holy things which you have and your vowed offerings you shall take and go to the places which the Lord chooses. You shall offer your burnt offerings, the meat and the blood, on the altar of the Lord your God, and the blood of your sacrifices shall be poured out on the altar of the Lord your God, and you shall eat the meat. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, our God, forever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. A reading from 1 Kings. May his holy blessings be with us. Amen. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Get away from here and turn eastward and hide by the brook Cherith, which flows into the Jordan. And it will be that you shall drink from the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord. For he went and stayed by the brook Cherith, which flows into the Jordan. The raven brought him bread and meat in the morning and the bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. And it happened after a while that, he, that the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. See, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, indeed a widow was there gathering sticks. And he called to her and said, Please bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. And as she was going to get it, he called to her and said, Please bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. So he said, As the Lord your God lives, I do not have bread, only a handful of flour in a bin, and a little oil in a jar. And see, I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare for myself and my son, that he may eat and die. And Elijah said to her, Do not fear. Go and do as you have said, but make me a small cake from it, from it first and bring it to me, and afterward make some for yourself and your son. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, The bin of flour shall not be used up, nor shall the jar of oil run dry until the day of the Lord sends rain on the earth. So she went away and did according to the word of Elijah, and she and he and her household ate for many days. The bin of flour was not used up, nor did the jar of oil run dry, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Elijah. Now it happened after these things that the son of the woman who owned the house became sick, and his sickness was so serious that there was no breath left in him. So she said to Elijah, What, ha what have I to do with you, O man of God? 
Have you come to me to bring my sin to remembrance and to kill my son? And he said to her, Give me your son. So he took him out of her arms and carried him to the upper room where he was saying, where he was staying and laid him on his own bed. Then he cried out to the Lord and said, O Lord my God, have you also brought tragedy on the widow with whom I lodge by killing her son? And he stretched himself out on the child three times and cried out to the Lord and said, O Lord my God, I pray, let this child's soul come back to him. Then the Lord heard the voice of Elijah and the soul of the child came back to him and he revived. And Elijah took the child and brought him down from the upper room into the house and gave him to his mother. And Elijah said, See, your son lives. Then the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that you are a man of God, and that the word of the Lord in your mouth is the truth. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, our God, forever and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. A reading from Proverbs of Solomon the prophet. May his holy blessing be with us all, amen. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Lend your ear to, un to my understanding, that you may perceive discretion, and your lips may keep knowledge. For the lips is immoral, for the lips of an immoral woman drip honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is bitter as a wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death; her step, her steps lay hold of hell. Lest you ponder her path of life. Her ways are unstable, you do not know them. Therefore hear me now, my children, and do not re depart from the word of my mouth. Remove your way far from her, and do not go near, near the door of her house. Lest you give your honor of, and to others, and your ears, your ear to the cruel ones. Lest aliens be filled with your wealth, and your labors go to the house of foreigners. And and you more at least, when when your flesh your when you when your flesh and your body are consumed, and say how I have hated instructions, and my heart despised corrections. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, our God, forever and unto the age of ages. Amen. A reading from Isaiah the prophet. May His holy blessings be with us. Amen. But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by, my, by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and you, and the, through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for your place. Since you uh, were precious in my sight, you have been honored, and I have I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your descendants from the east and gather you from the west. I will save to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons up from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is, who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. Bring out the blind people who have eyes and the deaf who have ears. Let all the nations be gathered, gathered together and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this? Show us former things. Let them be, let them bring out their witnesses, and that they may be justified or let them hear and say it is truth. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, our God, forever and unto the age of all ages. Amen. A reading from Job, the righteous may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. And now I am their taunting song, yes, I am their byword. They abhor me, they keep far from me, they do not hesitate to spit in my face. Because he has loosed my bowstring and afflicted me, they have cast off restraint before me. At my right hand the rabble arises, they push away my feet, and they raise against me their ways of destruction. They break up my path, they promote my calamity, they have no helper. They come as broad breakers under the ruinous storm that they roll along. Terrors are turned upon me, 
They pursue my honor as the wind, and my prosperity has passed like a cloud. And now my soul is poured out because of my plight. The days of affliction take hold of me. My bones are pierced in me at night, and, gnawing, and my gnawing pains take no rest. By great force, my garment is disfigured. It binds me about as the collar of my coat. He has cast me into the mire, and I have become like dust and ashes. I cry out to you, but you do not answer me. I stand up, and you regard me. But you have become cruel to me. With the strength of your hand, you oppose me. You lift me up to the wind and cause me to ride on it. You spoil my success. For I know that you will bring me to death and to the house appointed for all living. Surely he would not stretch out his hand against the heap of ruins. If they cry out when he destroys it. Have I not wept for him who is in trouble? Has not my soul grieved for the poor? But when I looked for good, evil came to me. And when I waited for light, then came darkness. My heart is in turmoil and cannot rest. Days of affliction confront me. I go about mourning, but not in the sun. I stand up in the assembly and cry out for help. I am a brother of jackals and a companion of ostriches. My skin grows black and falls from me. My bones burn with fever. My harp is turned to mourning, and my flute to the voice of those who weep. I have made a covenant with my eyes. Why then shall I look upon a young woman? For what is the allotment of God from above and the inheritance of the Almighty from on high? Is it not the destruction for the wicked and disaster for the workers of iniquity? Does he not see my ways and count all my steps? If I have walked with falsehood or if my foot has hastened to deceit, let me be weighed on honest scales that God may know my integrity. If my step has turned from the way or my heart walked after my eyes, or if any stop spot adheres to my hand, then let me sow and another eat. Yes, let my harvest be rooted out. If my heart had been enticed by a woman, or if I have lurked at my neighbor's door, then let my wife grind for another, and let others bow down over her. For that would be the wickedness. Yes, it would be iniquity deserving of judgment. For that would be a fire that consumes to destruction, and would root out all in my increase. If I have despised the cause of my male or female servant, when they complained, when they complained against me, what then shall I do when God rises up? When he punishes me, how shall I answer him? Did not he who made me in the womb make them? Did not the same one fashion us in the womb? If I have kept the poor from their desire, or caused the eye of the widow to fail, or eaten my morsel by myself, so that the fatherless could not eat of it. But from my youth I reared him as a father, and from my mother's womb I guided the widow. If I have seen anyone perish for lack of clothing, or any poor man without covering, if his heart has not blessed me, and if he, is not, if he, was, and if he was not warmed with the fleece of my sheep, if I have raised my hand against the, feather, the fatherless when I saw I had helped in the gate, they let my arm fall from, shoulder, fall from my shoulder, let my arm be torn from my socket. For destruction from God is a terror to me, and because of his magnific magnificence I cannot endure. If I have made gold my hope, or said to find gold, you are my confidence. If I have rejoiced because of my wealth was great, and because my hand had gained much. If I have observed the sun when it shines, or the moon moving in its brightness, so that my heart has been secretly enticed and my mouth has kissed my hand. This also would be an, an iniquity deserving of judgment, for I would have denied God who is above. If I have rejoiced at the, the destruction of him who hated me, or lifted myself up when evil found him, indeed I have not allowed my mouth to sin by asking for a curse on his soul. If the men of my tent have not said, who is there that has not, that has not been satisfied with his meat? But no sojourner had to lodge in the street, for I have opened my doors to the traveler. If I have covered my transgressions as Adam by hiding my iniquity in, the bo in my bosom, because I feared the great multitude and dreaded the contempt of families, so, I, so that I kept silent and did not go out of the door. Oh, that I had one to hear me. Here is my mark. Oh, that the Almighty would answer me, that my prosecutor had written a book. Surely I would carry it on my shoulder and bind it on me like a crown. I would declare to him the number of my steps. Like a prince, I would approach him. If my land cries out against me, and its furrows weep together, if I have eaten its fruit without money, or caused its owners to lose their lives, then let thistles grow instead of wheat, and weed instead of barley. The words of the Job are ended. So these are three men cease to answer so these three men ceased answering Job, because he was righteous in his own eyes. Then the wrath of Elihu, the son of Barachel of the Bozite, and the family of Ram was aroused against Job. His wrath was aroused because he justified himself rather than God. Also against his three friends, his wrath was aroused, because they had found no answer, yet they had condemned Job. Now because they were, they were years older than, him, than he, Elihu had waited to speak to Job. 
When Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men, his wrath was aroused. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, our God, forever and to the ages of all ages. Amen. O you, the long suffering, abundant mercy, and true, receive our prayers, supplications, and receive our petitions, repentance, and confession. Upon your holy, undefiled altar in heaven, may we be made worthy to hear holy gospels. And may we keep your precepts and commandments and bring forth fruit therein a hundredfold, sixtyfold, and thirtyfold. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Pray for the living. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the sick of your people. You have visited with mercies and compassion. Heal them. Pray for the sick. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, our fathers and brethren of traveling. Bring them back to their own homes in peace and safety. Pray for the travelers. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the air of the heaven, the fruits of the earth, bless them. Pray for the good air and the fruits of the earth. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the waters of the rivers, bless them, raise them to their measure according to your grace. Pray for the rising of the waters and the rivers according to their measures. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the seeds, the herbs, the plants of the field, bless them. Pray for the good rain and plains of the earth. Lord, have mercy. Let us bend our knees. Be upon us, O God, the Father, the Pentecostal. Let us stand, let us bend our knees. Have mercy upon us, O God, our Savior. Again, let us stand, let us bend our knees. Have mercy upon us, O God, have mercy upon us. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of men and the safety of animals. Remember, the salvation of men and the safety of animals. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox fathers. Pray for the salvation of the, of the world and, and the city of the monastery of ours. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the leader of our land, your servant. Keep him in peace, truth, and strength. Pray for our Christ-loving kings. Lord, have mercy. Let us bend our knees. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pentecostal. Let us stand, let us bend our knees. Have mercy upon us, O God, our Savior. Again, let us stand, let us bend our knees. Have mercy upon us, O God, have mercy upon us. Remember, O Lord, those who are in captivity, save them all. Pray for those who are in captivity. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, our fathers and brethren have fallen asleep and repose. In Orthodox faith, repose all their souls. Pray for those who have fallen asleep. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who brought to you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, and give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for the sacrifices and offerings. Lord, have mercy. Let us bend our knees. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pentecostal. Let us stand, let us bend our knees. Have mercy upon us, O God, our Savior. Again, let us stand, let us bend our knees. Have mercy upon us, O God, have mercy upon us. Remember, O Lord, those who suffer hardships and afflictions and distresses, save them from all their hardships. Pray for those who suffer hardships. Lord, have mercy. 
Remember, Lord, the catechumens of your people. Have mercy upon them. Pray for the catechumens. Lord, have mercy. Confirm their faith in you. Approve all trace of idolatry from their hearts. Your law, your fear, your commandments, your truths, and your holy precepts established in their hearts. Grant them in the set fast of the preaching they have received. And in the set time, may they be worthy of washing new birth for the remission of their sins. As you prepare them to be a temple of your Holy Spirit. Let everyone pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to us in the honor disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see and ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to turn to act according to your holy gospels. In the prayers of your saints. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also our Master, those who have been us from them in our prayers and supplications, which we offer up unto you, o Lord our God. Those who have fallen as we propose them, those who are sick, heal them, free our life of us all, salvation of us all the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. Alleluia. fear of God, let us hear the Holy Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to our teacher, St. Mark. May his blessing be with us all. Amen. From the Psalms of our teacher, David the prophet and the king, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. All nations who, whom you have made shall come and shall worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name, for you are the only and great God. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God and Savior, King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son, living God, to whom is glory forever. Amen. Then one of the scribes came, and having heard them reason together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second like it is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. So the scribe said to him, well said, teacher, you have spoken the truth, for there is one God, and there is no other but he, and to love him with all the heart, with all the understanding, with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, is more than all the whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. So when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared question him. Glory be to God forever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, for thine is the glory forever. Blessed be the Father, 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the perfect Trinity, we worship Him and glorify Him. I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine kingdom, power, glory forever. Amen. Jesus, our Lord. Before you, O Lord. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Bless the Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord, so God the Father has broken every bond of sin through saving life, giving suffering. So read in the face of all disciples, saying the apostles, saying, receive the Holy Spirit. You forgive the sins of any, they're forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they're retained. Also, Master and Grace, your apostles, for a time labor in the priesthood and holy church to forgive sins on the earth and to bind and to loose every bond of iniquity. You ask and treat your goodness over mankind. For your servants, my fathers, my brethren, my weakness, those the Father has before your holy glory. Dispense your mercy, so loose him bond of our sins. Committed any sin, whether knowingly or unknowingly, throwing your heart, whether need order in hardness. O Mass, and as weak as a man, do the good of mankind. Grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, purify us, absolve us of all your people. Those who are fear and strange for your holy and blessed will. For you are our God, and to his glory, honored many, and now and forever, and to of all ages. Amen. And Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Amen, alleluia, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit now, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. We proclaim and say, O our Lord Jesus Christ, O you who fasted for us forty days and forty nights to save us from our sins. Save us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us, amen, bless me, bless me. Lord, the repentance, forgive me, say the blessing. Christ our God. Amen, so be it. O King of peace, grant us your peace, render unto us your peace, and forgive us our sins, for us the glory, the honor, the dominion, and for every of all ages, amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray, thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven, give us the daily bread. Let us charge passes as we for those pass against us. Deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine skin, the power, glory forever, amen. Now, love of God the Father, grace only begotten, Son, our Lord, God, and the Son of the God, Jesus Christ, gift and flesh of the Holy Spirit be with you. All the Lord be with you. Amen. We worship you.
We're reading out of Roman, holy, 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 the gospel according to St. John. May his blessings be upon us, holy men. When the comfort of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father sent in my name, has come, he shall teach you all things and bring to remembrance all things that I've said unto you. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes to pass, that when it comes to pass, you might believe. I will not talk much with you, for the Prince of this world comes and has nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father, as the Father gave me commandments, so I do. Arise, let us go from here. I am the true vine, and my Father is a vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. Glory be to God for Rome, and may your sayings be concluded in peace. Worship of Christ with the good Father, and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. Have mercy on us, your Holy Spirit, O Lord. Whom you send forth upon your holy disciples, and honor apostles in the third hour. Do not take them away from us, O good one, but we ask you to turn within us. Create me a clean heart, O God, and your spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, ascend down your Holy Spirit upon your holy disciples and your honor apostles in the third hour. Do not take him away from us, O good one. We ask you to room within us, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Word, a right and life-giving spirit, a spirit of prophecy and chastity, a spirit of holiness, righteousness, and authority. O the Almighty One, free light of our souls, who gives light to every man that comes into the world, have mercy on us. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. O Theotokos, you are the true vine of the cluster of life. We ask you, full of grace, with the apostles for the salvation of our souls. Blessed is the Lord our God, blessed be the Lord day by day. He prepares our way, for he is God of our salvation. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. King, the comfort of the spirit of truth, who is present in all places and fills all treasures good things in life giver, where you should come and dwell on us and purify us and a good one and save our souls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. So the disciples will save and give them peace. Christ should come also and be with us and grant us your peace and save us and deliver our souls. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Whenever we send your always thanks for considering staying in heaven. Through the closer you get of heaven, open for us the gate of mercy. Lord, hear us, have mercy on us, and forgive us our many sins. Amen. Kini alay son, kini alay son, kini alay son. Kini alay son, kini alay son, kini alay son. Kini alay son, kini alay son, kini alay son. Kini alay son, kini alay son, kini alay son. Kini alay son, kini alay son, kini alay son. Holy, holy, holy Lord is above us. What a mercy, what a mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Glory be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and from the age of all ages. Amen. The praises and prayers of the sixth hour of this blessed day. We offer to Christ our King and God, beseeching Him to forgive us our sins. From the Psalms and praise of our Father, the Prophet and the King, may His blessing be upon us all. Amen.
God of every man, holy, 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 the gospel according to St. Matthew, may his blessings be upon us, holy men. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on the mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for those are the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil falsely against you for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to, to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand it gives light to all are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Glory be to God forever, amen. May the sayings of God be fulfilled in peace. You worship Christ with your good Father and the Holy Spirit. We have come and saved us. Have mercy on us. Are you in the sixth day and the sixth hour was nailed to the cross? For the sin which our father Adam dared to commit in paradise, tear the handwriting of our sins, O Christ our God, and save us. I cried to God, and the Lord heard me. God, hear my prayer, and then refuse my petition. Be attentive to me, and hear me in the evening, in the morning, and at midday. I say my words, and hears my voice, and delivers my soul in peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, our God, who was nailed to the cross on the sixth hour, and killed sin by the tree, and by your death, and made alive the dead man, whom you created with your own hand, and had died in sin. Put to death our pains, very healing, life healing passions. And by the nails with which you were nailed, rescue our minds from the thoughtlessness of the earthly deeds and worldly lusts. To the remnant of heaven, the commandments, according to your compassion. Now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Since we have no favor, nor excuse, nor justification because of our many sins. We through you implore to most born of you, O Theotokos, the virgin, for about the inacceptable intercession with our Savior. O Holy Mother, do not exclude sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore. For his mercy will enable to save us, because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your compassion speedily reach us. For we are exceedingly humbled. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. For our salvation, the mercy of, the earth, of all the earth, O Christ our God, as you stretch your holy hands on the cross, therefore our nations cry out, saying, Glory be to you, O Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We worship your angel, help, O person, O good, and asking for the forgiveness of our sins, O Christ our God. For you of your will, you were pleased to be lifted up unto the cross to deliver those who were created from the bondage of the enemy. We cry out unto you, we give thanks to you, for you have filled all with joy, O Savior. When you came to help the world, Lord, glory be to you. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. For she was full of grace, O Theotokos, the virgin, we praise you, for through the cross your son Hades fell down in death. Death was abolished. We were we were dead, and but we are raised, and we came worthy of the eternal life and grain, the delight of the first paradise. Therefore, we thankfully glorify your immortal Christ, our God. Holy, 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 Lord is above both. Heaven and earth, holy, glory and honor, have mercy on us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator, Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord God, of hosts, be with us, forever now, for in our hearts, in relation by you, absolve, forgive, and admit, O God, and gratitude, those who have committed willingly, and those who have committed unwillingly, and those who have committed knowingly, and those who have committed unknowingly. And then manifest, O Lord, forgive us for the sake of the name which call upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, not according to our sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as in heaven, give us their daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, we forgive those who pass against us. And lead us on temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thy name, and power, the glory for government. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Glory be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and from the age of all ages. Amen. The praises and prayers. Of the ninth hour of this blessed day, we're off to Christ our King and God, beseeching him to forgive us our sins. From the Psalms and praises of our Father, David the Prophet and the King, may his blessings be upon us, holy men.
Glory be to God for Amen. Holy, 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 the gospel according to St. Luke. May his blessings be upon us, holy men. And the apostles, when they had returned, told them all that they had done. Then he took them and went aside privately into the deserted place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. And the multitude, when they knew it, followed him and received them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God. And healed those who had need of healing. And when the day began to wear away, the twelve came and said to him, Send the multitude away that they may go into the towns and country round about and lodge and get provisions for you here in a deserted place. But he said unto them, You give them to eat. And they said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we go and buy food for all these people. For they were about five, th five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down in groups of fifty. And they did so and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and two fish, and, lo lo and looking up to heaven, he blessed them and broke, and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. And they ate were all filled in twelve baskets. The remaining fragments were taken up by them. Glory be to God for forever, amen. May your sayings be concluded in peace. We worship of Christ with our good Father and Holy Spirit. We have come and saved us, have mercy on us, you taste the death in the flesh, in the ninth hour for our sake, we the sinners, put the death our carnal us, so Christ our God and deliver us, let my supplication draw close before you, O Lord, according to your word, give me understanding, let my petition come before your presence, according to your word, revive me, and to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, you commanded the Spirit in the hand of the Father, as you hung on the cross in the ninth hour, and guide the thief who was crucified with you, into entering the paradise, do not neglect me, O good one, nor reject me, I the lost one, but sanctify my soul, enlighten my understanding, allow me to be a partaker of the grace of your life-giving mysteries, that when I taste of your benevolences, I offer you praise without lukewarmness, long for your splendor of all things, O Christ our Lord, and deliver us. Now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages, amen. You were born of the Virgin, for our sake and endured crucifixion, O good one, and abolished death by your death, and manifest the resurrection by your resurrection. O God, do not turn away from those whom you created with your own hands. But manifest so good when you love for mankind, except for your mother in a session on our behalf. Deliver, O Savior, a humble people. Do not leave us to the end. Do not forsake us forever. Do not break your covenant. Do not take away from us your mercy. For the sake of Abraham, your beloved Isaac, your servant Israel, your saints. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. He saw the prince of the world hung on the cross. He said, How not the one crucified with us be the God incarnate? The Son have not hide its rays, nor the earth would have quick trembling. But you, the Almighty One, who endures all things, remember your Lord when you come into your kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. But you accepted unto yourself the confession of the few on the cross. Accept us unto you, O good one, who we deserve the sins of the death. Because of our sins, we all confess our sins with him, acknowledging your divinity, and cry out with him, saying, Remember, so, Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. When the mother saw the lamb and the shepherd, the savior of the world, hung on the cross. She said while leaving the hung world, rejoicing and receiving salvation. But my heart rejoices and burns as I look at the crucifixion which you are enduring for the sake of all my sins. Son of my God. O Lord, hear us, have mercy on us, and forgive us our many sins. Amen. Kinyalai son, kinyalai son, kinyalai son. 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 Holy, holy, holy Lord of both. Absolve and forgive and remit of God's transgressions, those who have committed willingly and those who have committed unwillingly, those who have committed knowingly and those who have committed unknowingly. And manifest, O Lord, for your sake, the holy name which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, not according to our sins. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us their daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, we forgive those who pass against us. And lead us down to temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine kingdom, power, glory, for Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God, Amen. Glory be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and from the age of all ages, Amen. The praises and prayers of the eleventh hour of this blessed day, we offer to Christ our King and God, beseeching Him to forgive us our sins from the psalms and praises of our Father, David, the Prophet, and the King. May His blessings be upon us, all, Amen.
Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, amen, hallelujah, in the false and Holy Spirit, one God, amen, glory be the false and Holy Spirit, known from to each world, each of men, the praise and prayers of the twelfth hour of this blessed day, we're off to Christ our King and God, beseeching him to forgive us our sins, from the Psalms and praise of our Father, David the Prophet and the King, may his blessings be upon us all, amen. Glory be to God for Amen. Holy, 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 the gospel according to St. Luke. May his blessing be upon us, Amen. And here arose in the synagogue and entered Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they requested him concerning her. He took him, he took, and he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she arose and served them when the sun was setting. All those who had sick, any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. The devils came out out of many crying out and saying you are Christ the son of God and he rebuking them did not allow them to speak for they he knew that he was Christ glory be to God for Roman may your sayings be concluded in peace worship Christ with your good father and the Holy Spirit you have come and save us have mercy on us if the righteous one is scarcely saved where shall I the sinner appear the burden the heat of the day I did not endure because of the weakness of my humanity but a merciful God count me with the fellows of the eleventh hour for behold in iniquities I was conceived and in sins my mother bore me therefore I do not dare lift up my eyes to heaven but rather rely in the abundance of your mercy and love for mankind Crying out and saying, God, forgive me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. No savor to open to me the fatherly bosom, for I wasted my life in pleasure and lust, and days passed by me and vanished. Therefore, now I rely on the riches of your never ending compassion. So then, do not forsake a submissive heart which is in need of your mercy. For unto you I cry, O Lord, humbly, Father, I have sinned against heaven, and before you I am no longer worthy to be called your son. So make me as one of your hired servants. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Every iniquity I did with prudence and activity, every sin I committed with eagerness and diligence, and of all torment and judgment I am worthy. Therefore prepare for me the ways of repentance. O Lady the Virgin, for to you I appeal, and through you I seek intercession, and upon you I call to help me, lest I might be put to shame. And my soul departs and attend, my body attend to me, and defeat the conspiracy of the enemies, and shut the gates of Hades, lest they might swallow my soul. Only you blame us, bride of the true bridegroom, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal. Who was born the virgin of mercy upon us, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, who was crucified for us, and mercy upon us, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, who rose from the dead and the heavens, and mercy upon us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the age of the age of men. Holy Trinity of mercy in us, the Holy Trinity of mercy in us, the Holy Trinity of mercy in us. The Lord forgive us our sins, the Lord forgive us our iniquities, the Lord forgive us our trespasses. The Lord visit the sacred people, heal them the sake of holy name. Our fathers and brethren have fallen asleep, O Lord, oppose their souls. We hear that sin, Lord, of mercy in us. We hear that sin, Lord, of mercy in us. We hear that sin, Lord, of mercy in us. We hear that sin, Lord, of mercy in us. Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy, bless us, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us their daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those trespasses against us. And lead us on temptation, but deliver us from evil one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine kingdom, and power, and glory forever. Hail to we ask you, O saint, full of glory. The ever virgin, the guilt of Christ, the mother of Christ, and of the reparation of the beloved Son, the name of the our sins. Hail to the holy virgin, who brought forth unto us, which are like Christ our God. Ask the Lord, on behalf of the mercy of our souls, to forgive us our sins. O Virgin Mary, the holy guilt of Christ, the faithful life of for all mankind. Intercede on our behalf before Christ, and be bore that he may grant us forgiveness of our sins. Hail to you, O virgin, the right true queen, hail to the pride of our race, and to us, Emmanuel. Glory be to God for Amen. Holy, 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 the gospel according to Saint Luke. May his blessings be upon us, holy men. May all those men and Joseph and Zemus and me and this man is just and about waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit is upon him and had him real time by the Holy Spirit, not yet foreseen Christ the Lord. So he came by spirit into the temple and the parents brought on the child of Jesus to do from according to the custom of the law. He took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now your servant, depart in peace according to your word. Why is your senior salvation which you have prepared for the face of all peoples, 
A light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and glory people of Israel. Glory be to God for Amen. May your sayings be concluded in peace. You worship Christ with your good Father and Holy Spirit. For you have come and saved us. Have mercy on us. Behold, I am about to stand before the just judge. Terrifying and trembling because of my many sins. For our life spent in pleasures deserves condemnation. I repent all my souls so long as you dwell on this earth. For inside the grave does dust, does not, dust does not praise. And in death no one remembers. Neither in Hades does anyone give thanks. Therefore arise from the slumber of laziness and entreat the Savior. Repenting and saying, God, have mercy on me and save me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Life everlasting in this world ever existing, you would have an excuse, O my soul. But if your wicked deeds and ugly evils were exposed for the just judge, what answer would you give while you were lying in the bed of sins, negligent and disciplining the flesh, O Christ our God? Before your awesome seat of judgment, I am terrified. Before your counsel of judgment, I submit. And from the light of your divine radiance, I tremble. I, the wretched and defiled who lies in bed, negligent in my life, but I take example of the publican beating my chest and saying, God, forgive me and have mercy on me, a sinner. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Holy Virgin, overshadow your servant with your instant help and keep the ways of evil thoughts away from me and raise my own soul for prayer and vigil. For it has gone in deep sleep for your capable and compassionate, helpful mother, the bearer of the final life, my kingdom, my God, Jesus Christ, my hope, graciously accord, O Lord, to keep us sight without sin. Bless dear Lord, God of our Father, exceeding blessed and glorified be your name forever. Amen. By your mercy, O Lord, be upon us according to our hope in you. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you. Forgive them their food in due season. Hear us, O God, our Savior, for the hope of all regions of the earth. And you, O Lord, keep us safe in this generation forever. Amen. Bless you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Bless you, O Lord, make me touch your commandments. Bless you, O Lord, enlighten me with the righteousness. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not, O Lord, the works of your hands. You have been refuge from generation to generation. I ask the Lord instead of mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I have fled unto you. Save me, teach me to do your will. Here, my God, with you is the fountain of life. In your light shall we see life. And your mercy comes to those who know you and righteous upright in heart. To you belongs blessings, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, exist from the beginning, now and forever. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, sing praise in the name of Most High. Show forth your mercy in the morning, the righteous every night. We exalt you, Mother of the true light. We glorify you, saint of guilt, of cause, you have brought forth unto us, save the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to our Master, our King. Christ the Father, the Apostles, the crown of the martyrs, the joy, the righteous, the firmness of the church, begins the sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity, one Godhead, we worship Him and glorify Him. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, the best is Amen. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pontic, God's Lord, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father for all ages, the light of life, true God, true God, begotten not created, one essence of the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, who was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary became man. He is crucified for us in upon his palace, and suffered and buried, and on the third day rose from death. According to the scripture, he ascended to heaven, and ceased to reign his father. He is coming again with glory, judge of the living dead. In him shall no end. Yes, believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, giver of life. He is of the Father, the Father, Son, of worship, and glorified. He spoke by the prophets of one holy Catholic Catholic Church. He confessed and baptized me their sins. Look, resurrection, dead, and life, age to come. Amen. Let us take away the sin of the world. Hear us, have mercy on us, and forgive us for many sins. Yeah. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as heaven, give us our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and these us on the and deliver us from evil one. Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine kingdom, power, the glory, forever, amen. Glory and honor, honor and glory, the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, peace and edification, one only holy, Catholic, Apostolic, Church of God, amen. And remember, O Lord, those are brought unto you, these gifts. Those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, and give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for this holy, precious gift, our sacrifices, and those who bring them, Lord, have mercy. Alleluia, I shall go in unto the altar of God before the face of God who gladdens my youth. I will confess you Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the power Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God forever. Amen. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, Lord of all you peoples, for his mercy has been strengthened towards us, and the truth of the Lord abides forever. Amen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen.
give thanks to beneficent, merciful God, the Father, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and has brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord God, upon the Grator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. May the God may have mercy, compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all times, and make us ready to partake of the Holy Communion of his blessed, holy, blessed mystery for the remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, can entreat your goodness, Lord, of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all days of our life in all peace with your fear. All envy, all temptation, all the work of saying the counts, wicked men, the rising of enemies, hidden and manifest. Take them away from us and from all your people and from this table and from this year holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. For it is you who has given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. Upon us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator. Let us stand, let us bend our knees. Be upon us, O God, our Savior. Again, let us stand, let us bend our knees. Be upon us, O God, have mercy upon us. Servants, the people, and my weakness be absolved from the mouth of all Holy Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. From the mouth of one only holy Catholic Apostolic Church, from the mouths of all apostles, from the mouth of the Beholder of God, the Avenger, Saint Mark, the Holy Apostle, and Martyr, the Patriarch, Saint Severus, our Teacher, Dioscorus, Saint Athanasius, the Apostolic, Saint Peter, the Holy Martyr, High Priest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory. From the mouths of the Trinity, the Assembly of the Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and 200 at Ephesus. From the mouth of our honored Father, High Priest, Baba, but to the second, is part of the Apostolic Service, our Father, the Metropolitan, Abba Yusuf. And from my own mouth, being the least, for pressing full of glory is your holy name, now and forever in the age of all ages. Amen. You
Christ with your good Father and the Holy Spirit. For you have come and saved us. Have mercy on us. Paul, the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. A, re a chapter from the epistle of our teacher, Paul, to the Hebrews. May his holy blessings be upon us all. Amen. When you have forgotten the exhortation which speaks to you as to sons, my son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by him. For whom the Lord loves, he chastens, and scourges every son whom he receives. If you endure chastening, God does not chase. God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom a father does not chasten? But if you are without chastening, of which all have become partakers, then you are illegitimate and not sons. Furthermore, we have had human fathers who corrected us, and we paid them respect. Shall we not much more re readily be in subjection to the Father of spirits and live, for they indeed for a few days chastened us as seemed best to them, but he for our profit that we may be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening seems to be joyful for the present, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, strengthen the hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet, so that what is lame may not be dislocated, but rather be healed. Pursue peace with all men and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord, looking diligently, lest anyone fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble, and by this many become defiled, lest there be any for fornicator or profane person like Esau, who for one morsel of food sold his birthright. The grace of God the Father be with you all, amen. Epistle from the first epistle of our teacher, St. Peter, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. But let none of you suffer as a, a murderer, a thief, an evildoer, or as a busy, busy body in other people's matters. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God, and if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Now, if the righteous one is scarcely saved, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? Therefore, let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to him in doing good as, a, as to a faithful creator. The elders who are among you, I exhort. I, am a, I who am a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that will be revealed. Shepherd the flock of God which is among you, serving as overseers, not by compulsion but willingly, not for dishonest gain but eagerly, not as, nor as being lords over those entrusted to you but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. Likewise, you younger people, submit yourselves to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The world is passing away in its lust, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen. Wherein God takes
us have mercy on us. The next word follows the apostles, their holy blessings be with us all. Then after some days, Paul said to Barnabas, let us now go back and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord and see how they are doing. Now Barnabas was determined to take with them John called Mark, but Paul insisted that they should not take with them the one who had departed from them in Pamphylia and had not gone with them to the work. Then the contention became so sharp that they parted from one another. And so Barnabas took Mark and sailed to Cyprus, but Paul chose Silas and departed, being commended by the brethren to the grace of God. And he went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. Then he went, and then he went, then he came to Derbe and Lystra. And behold, a certain disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a certain Jewish woman who believed, but his father was Greek. He was well spoken of by the brethren who were at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted to have him go on with him, and he took him, circumcised him because of the Jews who were in that region, for they all knew that his father was Greek. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed. The Holy Church of God, amen. On this day, the saints Victor, Odysseus, Acacius, Irene, the Virgin, and those who were with them from men, women, and virgins were martyred. These saints were during the reign of Emperor Constantine and his son after him. They destroyed many pagan temples and transformed them to churches. When Emperor Julian the Apostate reigned, he supported idol worshiping, honored their priests, and slew a great number of Christians. When he knew that these saints had done to the what these saints had done to the temples. He seized them and tormented them with different kinds of tortures by beating, hanging, and combing their bodies with iron combs, then finally beheaded them. Thus they received the crown of martyrdom, the blessings of their prayers be with us all, amen. On this day also of the year 96 of the martyrs, 380 AD, Saint Okin departed. He was born in Kulzum, nearby the Red Sea. He was a contemporary of the Holy Father, Amba Antonius, the father of the monks. He worked as a diver into the deep waters of the sea to catch precious pearls and seashells. He sold them to sustain himself and contributed the rest to the poor. He longed for the monastic life, so he went to one of the monasteries of Amba Vahomius in Upper Egypt, where he became a monk. After a while, he returned to his hometown, then moved to Mesopotamia along with 70 monks who became his disciples. There he dwelt in a cave nearby Nisbus, surrounded by his disciples. Many followed his example till they counted 250 monks. He built a monastery for them accordingly. He was established... He was the one to establish the monastic life in these countries. He became an acquaintance of St. James and prophesied for him that he would be the Bishop of Nisbus. This prophecy was fulfilled and a strong spiritual friendship developed between them. The Lord performed many signs, wonders, and healing miracles by his hands. His fame became well known and was the reason for many of the pagans to believe. When he aged and the time of his departure knew, drew near, he gathered his disciples, blessed, and comforted them. One of his disciples saw an angel had come to receive his spirit, St. Okin prayed a short prayer and delivered his spirit into the hands of the Lord whom he loved. The cell was filled with sweet-smelling aroma. His disciples prayed over him and buried him in his monastery nearby Nisbus. Mayor Okin Monastery is located on the southern slope of Mount Islo, overseeing the city of Nisbus. The monastery is affiliated with the Syrian Orthodox Church. The blessing of his prayers be with us all, and glory be to God forever. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen, O Holy Trinity. Have mercy upon us. Let us pray. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. 
Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who said to us in the honor disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men, have desired to see the things which you have seen and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see and ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to turn to add according to your holy gospels to the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember also, our Master, those who have bidden us from them in our prayers and supplications, which we have upon to you, o Lord, our God. Those who have fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are life of us all, salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Bless, O Lord, the reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. O Lord. Stand up in the fear of God. Let us listen to the Holy Gospel. A gospel according to St. John. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. From the Psalms of our father David the prophet and the king, may his blessings be with us all, amen. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart, for you have heard all the words of my mouth. I will sing psalms to you before the angels. I will worship toward your holy temple, alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord God and Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to his dual glory forever, amen. Then Jesus said to them again, I am going away and you will seek me and will die in your sin. Where I go, you cannot come. So the Jews said, will he kill himself? Because he says, where I go, you cannot come. And he said to them, you are from beneath. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. Therefore I said to you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. Then they said to him, Who are you? And Jesus said to them, Just what I have been saying to you from the beginning. I have many things to say to you and to judge concerning you, but he who sent me is true, and I speak to the world. Those things which I heard from him, they did not understand that he spoke to them of the Father. which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts in Christ Jesus our Lord. I have sinned, I have sinned, my Lord Jesus, forgive me, for there is no servant without sin, nor master without forgiveness. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, for thine is the glory forever. Blessed be the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the perfect Trinity. We worship him and glorify him. In so fair the prosumen, kirele sun, kirele sun, gen umet mi amin. We believe in one God, a God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate with the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary became man. 
and he was crucified for us in our Pontius Pilate, suffering was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead. According to the scriptures, ascended the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father. He is coming again in his glory, judge of the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. Yes, believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, giver of life, proceeds from the Father, with the Father, Son, the Worship, and glorified, who spoke by the prophets at one holy Catholic Apostolic Church. We give us some baptism and of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Ah, amen. O sin, forgive me and pray for me. Let us pray. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Exalted above all power of speech and all thoughts of the mind. Is the richness of your gifts for our master. For that which you have hidden from the wise and the knowledgeable, you have revealed to us, little children. And those things which prophets and kings have desired to see but have not, you have granted them to us who are sinners, that we may serve them and be purified thereby. When you establish for us the economy of your only begotten Son and the mystagogy of this sacrifice, which has neither the blood of the law nor the righteousness of the flesh, round about it. Rather, the sheep is spiritual, the knife is verbal and intangible. This then is a sacrifice that we offer unto you. We ask and entreat your goodness, lover of mankind. Cleanse our lips and free our minds from all carnal pollution. And send to us the grace of your Holy Spirit. Then make us worthy to greet one another with a holy kiss. Now thou casting us into condemnation, we may partake of immortal and heavenly gift in Christ. Jesus, our Lord. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, Lord, who art Jesus Christ, Son of God, hear us and have mercy upon us. Offer, offer, offer in order. Stand with trembling, look towards the east, let us ascend. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, St. Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father, and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of, of praise. The Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We have them with the Lord. Ask if thanks to the Truly indeed it is me done right, O you, the being master, Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the highest and looks upon the lowly, who has created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is there, and the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who you may have created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy power. You who are seated, stand for whom stand. The angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look toward thy east. Our hero him stand, the cherubim full of eyes, and the seraphim with six wings, Praising continuously without ceasing, saying, Let us attend. The cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. Full of your holy, holy. 
Holy, 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 need the Lord our God, who formed us, created us, and placed us in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed your commandment by the deception of the serpent, we fell from the alive and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through only prophets. And in the last days you manifested yourself to us who were sitting in darkness. And the shadow of the through the only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary. Amen. Was incarnate and became man. And taught us the ways of salvation, and granted us the birth from the water and spirit. He made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us. Now your Holy Spirit, he loved his owner in the world, and as a ransom in our behalf, gave himself up unto death, which reigned over us, where my were bound and sold. On account of our sins, he descended into Hades through the cross. The dead on the third day, ascended the heavens and said, your O Father, as appointed a day for recompense, on which you will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sin. Instituted for us this great mystery of godliness for being determined to give himself up to death for the life of the world. He Bread into his holy hand, without without spot or blemish, blessed and life giving. We believe that this is true. To you, God, or his Father and Master of everyone who he and given thanks. Amen. He, he blessed him. Amen. And he sanctified him. Seeing the disciples and holy apostles saying, Taking of it all of you, for this is my body which is broken for you and for many, to be given for the remission of sins, this do in remembrance of me. This is true. Also, the cup after supper, he mixed it with wine and water, and when he and given thanks, Amen. He, he blessed it, Amen. He sanctified it. Glory, 
tasted and gave it also on saying the disciples and all the apostles saying take drink of it all of you for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins this do in remembrance of me this is also you eat of this bread and drink of this cup you proclaim my death confess my resurrection and remember me till I come Amen, Amen, Amen Your death O Lord we proclaim Your holy resurrection and ascension into the heavens we confess we praise you we bless you we thank you O Lord and we entreat you our God. Therefore, as we also commemorate his holy passion, his resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, his sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory. We're off unto your guests from what is yours for everything concerning everything and in everything. Worship God in fear and trembling. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. Let us attend Amen This bread he makes into his holy body I believe Amen also the precious blood of his new covenant. Again I believe. Amen. An eternal life to those who partake of, of him. And Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Make us all worthy, our master, to partake of your holy to the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share and inheritance of all the saints who have pleased us since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of everyone only, Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Pray for the peace of the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord, have mercy. This church you have acquired unto yourself with the precious blood of your Christ. Keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops who are in her. Foremost, to remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, Archbishop of Patriarch Baba Abba, to Adris II, and his spiritual brother, Patriarch of Antioch, Mary Ignatius, from the second is part of the Apostolic Service, our Father, Metropolitan Abba Yusuf. Pray for our High Priest, Pope Abba, to Adris II, Pope and Patriarch of our of, uh, Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria, and his brother, the Apostolic Liturgy, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mary Ignatius, from the second, and his partner in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, Metropolitan Abba Yusuf, and for our Orthodox bishops. Lord, have mercy. And those who 
grant the divide the word of truth with them, grant the bond to holy church, to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegemans, priests, and deacons. Pray for the Hegemans, priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the church of God. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants, all our in virginity, in the period of all your faithful people, remember, O Lord, have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this year, holy place, and every place, and every monastery of our Orthodox Father. Pray for the salvation of the world and of the city, of all cities, and all countries, islands, and monasteries. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell there in God's pain and grace, accord the Lord, bless there with heaven, the fruits of the earth this year. Pray for the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, and the trees, the vineyards, and for every fruit-bearing tree in all the world, that Christ our God may bless them, bring them to perfection and peace our harm and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Praise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered, and its fruits be plentiful, prepared for sowing and harvesting. Manage our lives as deemed fit. Bless the kind of your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, for the sake of all of us, as you entreat your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, forgive them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, bring your food to all flesh, fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who are brought unto you, these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought, give them all. Heavenly reward. Pray for these holy, precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who bring them. So, Lord, as a command of your only begotten Son, that we share in the commemoration of your saints, grace to the Lord, and all the saints who have produced since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the uh, faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theotokos, Saint Mary. Which will give birth to God the Logos and Saint John the Forerunner, Baptist and Martyr, Saint Stephen the Archangel, the Martyr, Martyr, the Builder, God the Man, and Saint Mark the Holy Apostle and Martyr, the Patriarch, Saint Severus, our Teacher, Dioscorus, Saint of the Dispassal, Saint Peter the Holy Martyr, and how I priest. St. John Chrysostom, St. Rosa, St. Diablo, St. Demetrius, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory, the Theologian, St. Gregory, the Wonder Worker, St. Gregory, the Armenian, the 318, as I'm at Nicaea, the 150, at Constantinople, the 100, Ephesus, our righteous Father, the great Abba Anthony, the righteous Abba Paul, the recent Abba Macar, and all their children, the cross bearers. Our Father of John the Egaman, our righteous Father, our Shoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the choir with saints through his prayers and supplications. Have mercy on us all and save us for the sake of all the name which is called upon us. Let those who read. Recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose their souls and forgive us our sins. Amen. Be their holy blessings.
sojourners in this place. Keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. As it was and shall be it is from generation to generation throughout the way into your kingdom that as in this false and all things your great holy name be glorified blessed and exalted and everything honored and blessed together with Jesus Christ your beloved son and the Holy Spirit peace be with all and with Give thanks to God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for he also has made us worthy now to stand in, your, in this holy place, to lift up our hands and to serve. His holy name, let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mysteries. Amen. The holy body. Your holy body and the precious blood, your precious blood of His Christ the Pantocrator, the Lord our God. Merciful God, the Redeemer of everyone who was incarnate for our salvation, who has enlightened us sinners who fasted for us forty days and forty nights in a mystery. Ineffable. from death and gave his holy body and his precious blood for the forgiveness of our sins who spoke to the multitude and to his saintly disciples and holy apostles saying 
This is the bread of life which came down from heaven, not as your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and My flesh and drinks my blood shall live forever, and I will raise him up at the last day. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, Lord of mankind. Purify our souls, bodies, and spirits, so that with a pure heart we may dare with boldness without fear. So cry to your holy Father, who is in heaven, and say, Our Father. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is kingdom, power, glory, forever, amen. In Christ Jesus our Satan in the sphere of God. Yes, me with all. And with your spirit. Remember all our assemblies, bless them. Save the man and with your spirit in the fear of God, let us attend. Amen, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The holy is our for the holy. Blessed be Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Holy body and the precious true blood of Jesus Christ, Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The holy, precious body and the true blood of Jesus Christ, Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The body and the blood of Emmanuel, our God, this is true. Amen. Amen. I believe. Amen, amen, amen. I believe, I believe, I believe, and confess the last breath. This is life in flesh, which only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Theotoko, Saint Mary. He made it one with his divinity without mingling, without confusion, without alteration. He confessed a good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy word of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly, I believe that his divinity part and not of him is humanity for a single moment or twinkling of an eye. Given for us for salvation, which of sins, eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen. 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 I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true, amen. Pray for us and all Christians who said to all us concerning them, remember us in the Lord, the house of the Lord, the peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing alleluia. 
pray for the worthy partaking of the Immaculate Holy Mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Blessed you comes name the Lord. Blessed you comes name the Lord. Christ. 
shining light the angels are delighted by a fasting sun arise from your slumber in the night and start by saying in the name by fasting God's wrath by fasting God's wrath was removed from the people of Nineveh when all had fasted even the children and repented from their sins. They repented and fasted for three days, even the cattle from their hay, even nursing babes were weaned by the preaching of Jonah on that day. Blessed are those who have mercy, who give to the poor and fast and pray. The Holy Spirit will fill their hearts. The sun will show them mercy on judgment day. How pure and noble is the fasting mystery. How comforting to the weary heart. With fasting, we can easily conquer sleep. We can also defeat Satan's dark. With fasting, Moses conquered his foes and saved his people from Pharaoh's woes. And the Lord gave him ten commandments that right and wrong the people may know. He talked with God without reserve, and to hear his sweet voice he did deserve. And Moses' name is now renowned by hymns and praises he is observed. Blessed are those who have mercy, who give to the poor and fast and pray. The Holy Spirit will fill their hearts. The sun will show them mercy on judgment day. the angels 
saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and glory towards men. The body and blood of the only begotten God, having partaken, let us give thanks to him. Glory to the Father and the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The body and blood of the only begotten God, having partaken, let us give thanks to him. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. This is the body and blood of the only begotten God, having partaken, let us give thanks to him. Let us sing praises with the angels and the orders of the highest and the choir of the righteous proclaiming and saying, O you who fasted for us forty days and forty nights, accept the fasting and forgive me my lawlessness through the prayers and intercessions of my Lady Mary. Save us and have mercy on us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord bless us, come and bless me, bless me, Lord repentance forgive me, say the blessing. O Christ our God, and so be it. O King of peace, grant us your peace, render unto us your peace, and forgive us our sins, we raise the glory, the honor, the dominion, now and forever, the future of all ages, amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray, thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, we forgive those who trespass against us. 